Hello, it's Sally. Sally Boyle. Can I come in? Right, oh ma'am. I'll get the door for you. Miss Boyle, what a nice surprise. We haven't seen you in quite some time, have we, Constable Whistler? Indeed, we have not, Constable Layton. And may I say, ma'am, you've brightened our day. Like, uh, like... Like Blackberry Joy. What would we do without our Blackberry Joy? And we thank you for it, don't we? I must say, Dr Verloc is not equally thankful, seeing as you have become his primary competition. And he nurses a broken heart. Hell hath no fury, as they say. Are you quite sure you wish us to announce your presence? P please. Dr Verloc, sir? I said no interruption. Dr. Verloc, sir, there is a young lady who wishes to see you. You'll have to be more specific. You place me in a quandary, sir, as you have expressly forbidden me to speak her name on any account. Sally. Hi. Come crawling back, have you? Please don't hate me, Anton. Oh, no? I teach you everything I know. You steal my notes. Those are my notes, Doctor. You steal my business, and you have the nerve to come back here. You locked me out in the rain to teach me a lesson. And then you replace me with Bing. Anton. We were so close. So close to cracking the isometric structure of the new molecule. I suppose you cracked it on your own after you left, didn't you? Doctor. Your Blackberry. Doctor! I don't care if the General's protecting you. You've gone too far this time. Sergeant, arrest her. She's a thief. Don't let her get away. I am sorry, Miss Boyle. Uh, perhaps you had better... Yeah. Of course. Fuckity fuck. Why do I get cod liver oil now? Wait. Arthur. He was always so good at finding things. If he can survive the Garden District... He was so mad, but... He could never stay mad at me for long. Not after he told me off. Pepperoni? Oh, my nose needs a bath. Or is it just several cases of fresh? There has been some excitement at the Victory Memorial Camp. An unauthorized person was intercepted attempting to plant tulips <laughs> around the chain link fence. Fortunately, she set off all the... Imagine how alarming it would have been if she'd not been caught. Kaboom! Yes! And the leadership of the whole...
Got you an invitation. Are you sure you really want to go to the reform club together? I'm not sure that nurse's uniform still fits. Oh, no. Oh, I'm not much of a night owl anyway. I just hate being excluded, you know. Oh, I've made your outfit for you. It's ever so slimming. I think you'll look wonderful in it. Oh, you always look wonderful. You're such a dear. What would I do without you? Come by any time you need something new to wear. It's such a joy making clothes for you. You always make me look so good. Got anything yummy in you? Cheery bye! I don't actually like long walks. I'm sorry. For the past 14 years, I've sort of thought about what I'd say if I ever ran into you again. But being a complete jealous ass about the general was not really part of the plan. Sir Robert's a client. Oh, good. I, I mean... <laughs> I don't go around having sex with all my clients. No, no. Uh, of course not. I just... I could ask him. He likes to feel important. Even after all those awful things I said? We used to be Arthur and Sally. The two musketeers. Remember? Did you really come here just to offer me a letter of transit? Or did you want something? I thought we could help each other. All right. What do you want? I used to know I could trust you about anything. Of course you can trust me. What is it you want? It's going to sound stupid, but... A bottle of cod liver oil. A bottle of cod liver oil? Like your mum used to torment you with. What if I told you it was sort of a souvenir? Why on earth would you want to remember your mum? I don't know. 
And I keep hoping I'll remember something that'll make it all better. Like maybe it was an accident and she didn't mean to poison the soup. You know how joy fucks up your memories. Look, if it's too much to ask... I suppose it would be too much to expect. Don't worry, Arthur. I will ask my friend the General for a rotten scrap of paper just for old time's sake. Look. It's not exactly a souvenir. Things have got... a little more complicated than usual. I'm sorry I fucked everything up. I wanted to die, you know. I thought about it. But I couldn't. Not after... After... What, your what my mum did. <sighs> Look, I'll get it for you. With cod liver oil. I missed you so. I'm sorry. I, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'll, I'll, I'll get you that letter. I have to go. I'm sorry. I really, really. It just, I'll just came out. Go. Get you that bottle. Meet you back here, sometime. Let you know when I've got it. I guess I've got to see the general now. Won't that be fun? These tracks would be so much nicer with trains. Lovely to see you, Miss Boyle. Nice to see you, Miss Boyle. Hello, boys. Keeping us safe? Next walk can't come soon enough, if you ask me, Miss. Hope the Jerrys come before my knees go, ma'am. I'll let the Jerrys know you miss them. I think someone's pinched. 
You lot don't appreciate the general, because all you know is the war. But back when I served with him in India, let me, let me tell you what happened. If I have to... Oh, God, here he goes again with the elephant. Now, you two bloody listen to me, all right? One fine day, the sea boys come running into the regimental HQ, saying there's an elephant broke loose. Ours not to question why. Elephants is very gentle creatures most of the time, and they get along just fine with their man who rides them. I'm He's ready. called a mahu. I think I'm ready. But... When they're Now's in the eat, time to endure, to as up. they say. And this one, I got loose. And as my hoot went chasing off in exactly the wrong direction. And the elephant runs into the market and starts eating peaches. And I'm the just saying, tries to stop him. Might need to and the elephant oh, steps on him something horrible. Mashes him right into the mud. And skin comes off his back like he was doing. So the sea boys come running up to his general. Only then. He was a major, and say, You must come shoot this elephant. So, he gets his hunting rifle, which a 505 gives, and he goes down to the market. Only now, the elephant isn't in the market anymore. It's in a field, eating leaves. It's calm as never mind. So, no cause to shoot it anymore. And by now, the moon's come back, and he's screaming and jabbering about, Oh, but he doesn't shoot my elephant. Did you send a purpose yet? He's going up with it, but it's alright. And he don't know how to do any other job except sit in that elephant and tell it to pick up a log and carry it over there. Oh, funny the elephant. He's taking the life of a man, you see. Cool it. But... I hope the General's not in one of his old poor me moons. It's such a chore dragging him out of them. If he's cheery, I bet he'll give me the letter of transit without a blink. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? It's Sally Boyle. I'm not a German infiltrator. Please don't ambush me. Where are they? Miss Boyle, we weren't expecting you. Harry, why the fuck is the gate open? Excuse my French, ma'am. I told you to close it. No, Sergeant, you didn't. You said you were going to close it, but you had to go to the loo first. No, I didn't. I said I'm going to the loo. Why don't you close the gate? Boys. Boys, you can close it now if you like. Right, Harry. Close the gate, if you please, while I accompany Miss Boyle to the General's office. Oh, won't he be happy to see you? He's trying to fix the boat again. The one in the warehouse? You mean the one in the boathouse, as is, Mom? They've moved the boat to the water. And he's got Hardy patching it up. Hardy don't hardly know which end of a boat goes in the water. If you don't think Hardy's up to it, find me someone who does know boats. Sally, suppose you drift away, sir. How are we going to fetch you? What an unexpected pleasure. Army officers ought not to be pottering about in boats, sir. I realise you must be out of Rainbow. You haven't been round in weeks. Wasn't I around just a few days ago? Damn it. Oh, and a friend of mine left the parade without his letter of transit. Now he can't go back to work. Isn't that silly? Any friend of yours, my dear. It's been too long, anyway. Oddest thing, last time I was there, I could swear I heard something that sounded like a cat. But I haven't seen a cat since the war. Have you? Fortunately, I wrote myself a note. Sally's got a... baby. What do you suppose that means? Who knows? Once you hallucinated that you were back in India and you kept saying, but I don't want to shoot some poor bastard's elephant. <laughs> <laughs> You're as clever a liar as I am. <laughs> you can lie with the truth. Your cruel's a toy with me, General. It's Dr. Velox, baby. Isn't it? No wonder you never told him. God knows.
knows what he'd do to a baby. You might have told me. She's not your bloody baby. So what do you care? Do you remember the children born after the war? We got some of them out, but they made everyone so unhappy. Can, can you get us out? I might be able to get her out, if I'm very clever, but no. I can't spare you. What do you think would happen if our beloved Bobbies ran out of Blackberry Joy? I have a safe house. Remember that abandoned building where you threw me that masquerade ball last year? I've cleaned it up a bit. Bring her there. I'm not sending her away. Why not? It's traditional, a single girl in trouble, not equipped to take care of her baby. I'd have thought you'd be grateful. You'll end up in one of Dr. Verloc's glass cells, and even I won't be able to save you. You don't know what it's like to be alone, do you? A girl like you never is. <laughs> I think you know the way out. All right. I've got the bloody letter of transit. Arthur said he'd let me know when he had the cod liver oil. Oh, I hope he sent me something on the blower. Wait. If the General's got the boat in the boathouse, if I can get it working, maybe I can get us out of here.
It is here. The General's Bristol pilot. My God, if I could steal a boat... But does it work? This way, but once. Mm. Consider the dry estate. There are very few problems that joy won't make better. All right, Susie. Good. Well, I don't know who you're trying to fool, Mum. Talking all posh like that. You think Prince Charming's going to come visiting with a glass slipper? I hope not. He's already married to Snow White, Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty. Don't be smart. Nobody likes a smart girl. Miss Boyle! How lovely to see you. You got the boat in the water. Well, over the water anyway. It don't leak quite as much anymore. Thing is, the motor don't turn. I mean, forget starting it. The old man's got the only key. I can't even turn it with a wrench. Rusted solid. I'd have to take it apart, but I think I'd never get it back together again. You know a lot about boats. And you're the only one fixing it up? Ma'am, I'm a joiner. If you need a door hung, I'm your man. Apparently, that makes me the General's expert on boats. My dad and I patched up a Bristol pilot when I was a girl. Is that what sort of boat it is? Did about 20 leagues, but it wasn't really white water. So we sold it for a twin diesel schooner. Of course, the Navy requisitioned that for lake patrols. We tried to patch up a Q-boat during the occupation, but we couldn't find a ramjet. I'm not an expert. Would you happen to know how to fix the motor? Well, if it's rusted solid, um, maybe Dr. Faraday would make a new one for me. You know Dr. Faraday? If the likes of me asked her, she'd probably zap me with one of her satanic devices. All right, but don't tell the General. No, ma'am. It'll be our little secret. Won't the General be surprised? Well, Gwen, oh, we may just make it out of here alive after all. I just need to get Dr. Faraday to make a new boat motor for me. Then I lied my ass off to Hardy. I've never been near a boat. So I'll need to find someone who can tell me how to drive one. And I guess I'll need to steal the General's key to the boat. All right. First things first. Who can tell me about boats? Hmm... Wait. Ah, oh, the air raid shelter. Arthur and I snuck in there once. And then we walked the rail tunnels all the way back to Maiden Home. I should go down there and make sure the hatch door is still open. Never hurts to have an escape hatch. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't Arthur be pleased if he'd come up with that? <laughs> <laughs> 